Saturday morning at about 7.49. I probably should hop in the shower in like, I don't know, 20 minutes or so, because I think I'm gonna leave, well, I mean, I think I'm gonna leave my house at like high, and I, go get your ball, go get your ball, get it, get it, at like eight, Maybe I'll leave at like nine, nine o'clock because I need to get gas. Maybe like 9.15. I don't need to leave at like nine o'clock. Maybe 9.05, I don't know. Um, but I'm gonna order my lunch from a, a Tate. Sorry, lover. <laughs> I'm gonna pre-order my lunch online from a, a Tate Bakery, and I'm gonna pick it up today at 12.15. That should be after rehearsal. Should it be 12.15? 12.15 is a good time, right? We'll be done by then, for sure. And then I'll eat, like, outside, hopefully. Um, and then I'll maybe stick around a little bit for uh, some doing some work outside, and then maybe we'll go to Anthro, and then we'll go to Antata Singers, so. It's gonna be a busy day. Workout was so hard this morning, guys. I'll definitely be sore tomorrow, but um, we'll uh, we're gonna get stronger. Oh, he's done. He's done. I'm done. Are you taking a break? Was that fun, though? Did you have fun? Yeah, I had fun too. It was fun. Okay, quick outfit of the day. I didn't iron it, but it's fine. We're just chilling all day. It's the right dress from. Anthropology. It's called the right dress because it's got little planes on it. How adorable is that? And a little uh, J. Crew cardigan from like a million years ago. But these are both from a million years ago. Um, and sneakers because we're going to be standing all day. So, I mean, at least they're cute sneakers. You know what I'm saying? So, that's the, uh, that's the O-O-T-D outfit of the day. Yeah, O-O-T-D. So, yeah, all right, we're making some, I'm making a London fog actually, and then I'm gonna get going, pack my bag, and get going, because we're gonna be gone all day. Oh my gosh. All right, here we are, another weekend, crossing the Boston Garden. It's a gorgeous day today. Like, there's not a cloud in the sky as you can see, and it's like almost 70 degrees. So it is gonna be a really nice one today. Um, I'm on time today, so let's go through the public garden. The parking garage did not give me a ticket. They said come through the office on my way out and like take the validation and everything. It's, oh, I was so worried and stressed, but oh my God, look at this beauty. Can we just look at the roses, y'all? Oh my gosh, we can stop for a second and like Since we're done. It's October, but like, wow. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I'm in love. I know, I live here, right? I live here, but it's absolutely just, I, I never get sick of it. I just, I just don't. Public garden. I got my lunch from Tate. I got shakshuka. I'm anxious to eat it. I got a fork and a knife and a napkin, and I'm I'm good to go. So I'm just gonna sit and people watch.
that anthropology like changed locations. There it is. Um, let's check it out. It was a lot of like standing and singing and sometimes when I'm doing that I forget how much work that is like on your body um, if you're singing in any kind of meaningful way not just you know standing and humming but like actually standing and singing and trying to pay attention and trying to correct mistakes that you're making etc and um, it's just very tiring and yesterday after I like almost fell asleep in the middle of cantata singers rehearsal <laughs> and I'm sorry I didn't film much of it it's just not super it's just not possible to film a lot of footage inside of a rehearsal process because you are kind of at work but like it was so incredibly busy and frenzied and there were a lot of things going on and um, yesterday there was a lot of things going on in the morning at church and hopefully everything will be ironed out this morning and I'm wearing my concert clothes to church because nobody needs to be changing clothes I it's fine but um, the entire time I was at rehearsal and I was, you know, hanging around going to another rehearsal and just like talking to colleagues and sort of just being in the moment. I was like, and I experienced this a lot, but I don't talk about it. Maybe I do talk about it, but I was just like, wow, I love this. And I'm very lucky, even though I'm tired, my feet were hurting, I was getting a little like my legs were like kind of jello because of that like workout I had done earlier that morning I was like I'm down with this it's so good and um 
there were so many beautiful moments from uh, the cantata singers rehearsal especially. It's going to be really good today. It's today at three? I don't even know. Um, all I know is that like I would just, it really is like almost on the same block so I'm just going to roll up there. I will spend a little time probably editing in uh, a cafe or something like that. I'll have like my 50,000th cup of coffee. But if, if you are doing something in life and sometimes are feeling tired or, or it's just feeling a little mundane but you actually really like it, just try to stay next to that feeling. <laughs> next week I am going to Maryland to um, to attend the the actual funeral of my father. Um, he we had a memorial service shortly after he passed, um, but because he is a soldier, <laughs> he was a, a colonel in the army and a soldier through and through. He is getting a proper burial at Arlington uh, National Cemetery, and. I remember that I remember that when you know when I was visiting him for one of the last times I told him that you can I know that you're proud of me but like you can be so happy and proud that I am happy with what I'm doing and good things are happening and you can continue to be proud um, and so I'm I've tried to hold on to that, which is why I, I keep not giving up on dreams, you know? Um, I kind of just, as tiring as it is, I just want to keep going and say that I did the best I could. So that's my emotional sort of talk this morning. I have my music here. I really, I don't have anything to notes to make really. Um, I just have notes to make for like future stuff, hopefully. And um, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I think I'm going to be able to take my laptop with me this morning or that, although it might be really heavy because I have my rain boots, I have other shoes. Um, it doesn't look like it's raining right now, but it's definitely in the forecast. So hopefully that'll make it easier to park my car and I won't have to go in the garage or anything. I can just go on the street um, because parking in the garage is great and all, but oh my gosh, let me tell you, yesterday I went into the garage to park and I pressed the little button that said, give me my ticket and there's no ticket that came out, but the, but the gate raised up. So I was like, what do I do? So I go into the garage, park my car, and I come back and talk to one of the staff members there, and I'm like, listen, your machine didn't give me a ticket, but I'm going to have a, you know, a validation um, with what happens. <laughs> so he's like, just, you know, when you come and leave, just come back to the, the office and we'll take care of it for you. And I was like, okay, cool. And of course... That was a pain in the ass. Of, and of course, they like scoffed at me and were, like gave me attitude because it was a like, different person at this point. Because it was, what was it, like, eight hours later? It was a different person at this point who was like, why don't you have an initial ticket? And I'm like, I explained to your coworker this morning that the machine did not give me a ticket, but I have this validation. Like, can I just leave? Um, and they were like giving people, they were like doing something with tickets on the out way the exit anyway because apparently the machines weren't working so it wasn't my fault that I didn't have a ticket so I was just like I was trying my hardest <laughs> to be like so polite because like I understand that like if your machines are like not working it's like such a pain and like it's annoying to like stand there and be like $18 and you know and just take people's money and whatever but like Anyway, I just, it was such a hassle. Anyway, these are like first world problems. <laughs> but they're Boston, pro they're Boston, pro they're proper Boston problems. Okay, 
it's time to get out there. It's like eight, almost eight, it's eight o'clock. So I have about 20 minutes until it's probably, actually that's not true. Do you, what, what time is my call? Listen to me, this, is, this was me last Sunday, 9.15. So, so I really don't have that long. So I probably should get my act together in the next 10 minutes and then take myself to church and get ready for the day. Hopefully um, I'll be back home by like five o'clock. I don't think the vlog will be up on time today. Um, there's no chance of that. But since I'm not like at home, I mean, if I get to like a coffee shop with like a star, like a Starbucks with like Wi-Fi, maybe, but like I doubt it. Um, but I'll, I'll have to, I'll have to get ready for my day. I hope you all um, enjoyed. I don't even know what this vlog is gonna be like. This is a crazy weekend, but a good weekend. So I hope you all are having a good weekend too. And um, I'll see you later. Bye. Again, it's Vlogtober. You get what you get. <laughs>